Hiya, welcome to the Belfry Advent Reflections. Uh, my name is Andy Baker, I'm the Associate Minister here at the Belfry. Um, and behind me, um, you will see a Christmas tree. Now, if any of you have been in the parish centre, you will have recognised this tree. Um, I have had this tree up um, probably two years now. It was pre-COVID uh, when we had this tree up. Uh, at the beginning, I'm going to be honest with you, it was laziness. We didn't take it down. Um, I love Christmas. Uh, the tree was up. That's fine. Uh, but then when COVID hit, I don't know if any of you remember this, but at the beginning uh, of COVID, there was a bit of a move for people uh, to keep their Christmas tree lights up. Uh, it was quite a dark time of the year in general. Um, and as it was such a dark time uh, for us all, um, often the lights uh, were kept on uh, to kind of keep people's spirits up, a little bit of light um, in the darkness. Um, and so I've kept this tree up all the way through partly on purpose and partly laziness. Um, but it, to me, has been a bit of a symbol of, of light. Um, and at Christmas, it is a time where um, we, we talk about light. We have lights in our homes. Uh, we spend six hours untangling Christmas lights from previous years uh, in order to, to wrap them around trees and uh, trees outside and sometimes pets. And we we have these lights to, to shine in the darkness. Um, I don't know if you know much about the history of Christmas lights. Um, families used to assemble their tree in the parlour. It was a very, very long time ago, hundreds of years. Um, and people would come down. Um, if you could afford them, you would have candles on the tree, uh, which then uh, grandpa or, or dad would, would light um, for a few seconds before blowing them out to, to represent uh, Jesus being the light of the world. Uh, and it was a really important tradition. Um, unfortunately, it did lead to quite a lot of fires. Uh, and I don't know, again, if you know this, but in 1882, a guy called Edward Johnson invented uh, the first electric lights. And they were very simple. There were eight of them, uh, very big, bulbous uh, light bulbs held on one single wire. They were wrapped around the tree uh, in America. He was a, a friend of Thomas Edison. Um, and they would <laughs> they would be lit up in red, white and blue um, and people were amazed. But they didn't really catch on. People were a bit nervous about electricity and they didn't really trust it. Uh, and it wasn't until the 1920s when GE invented cheap uh, Christmas lights that they began to take off. Uh, and soon the candles became a thing of the past and electric lights were the way forward. Um, so as you can see behind me, I've got my electric lights. Uh, but these lights um, are specifically uh, and originally to represent Jesus being the light of the world. Our passage today comes from John 1, 6 to 8. I'm going to read it um, from the Passion Translation, uh, a bit of a favourite of mine at the moment. Um, if you've not come across the Passion Translation, um, it's a great parallel Bible, I describe it as one that you can read alongside your, your regular Bible. Um, it's not a particularly academic one, but it, it puts a lot of the emotion um, back into the text that actually was there in the original uh, that we take out in academic circumstances. So John 1, 6 to 8 says, suddenly a man appeared who was sent from God, a messenger named John, for he came as a witness to point the way to the light of life and to help everyone believe. John was not that light, but he came to show us who is, for he was merely a messenger to speak the truth about the light. Uh, this is one of our uh, Advent readings today, and it talks about John the Baptist uh, making the way uh, for Jesus. Um, and it talks about it in terms of Jesus being the light of life. Jesus describes himself as the light of the world. And that is what he came to do. He came to a dark world to bring light uh, and I think it's fair to say that uh, we increasingly live in a dark world, one that is uh, full of bad news and sadness. Only recently um, we've had lots of uh, sadness around COVID again fl uh, flaring up uh, with lots of uncertainty around Christmas and what can happen. Uh, something that we thought we were past uh, has come back um, and it's put a lot of people into a lot of uh, fear um, and the message of Christmas is that when Jesus came, he came to bring light um, and light changes the darkness uh, because the darkness cannot overcome it. Uh, one small candle can light up a whole room uh, merely by its presence. And Jesus at Christmas is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He is that light. He is that presence. Um, and like John, our job um, is to reflect that light 
into the world. Um, as Christians, we are here uh, to bring the light of Christ into the world by reflecting his glory through our actions, through our kindness uh, and through our prayers. Um, and so uh, today and the rest of the day, I want you to think about what you can do uh, in order uh, to, to, to reflect that light of Christ into uh, whatever situation you're in. Uh, we're going to pray in a moment. Um, and again, if you remember the old morning prayer, well, I'm going to encourage you to write some prayers uh, in the comment section. Um, so please do do that. If there's anything you'd like prayer for, anything you'd like to pray for, please do do that. Let's be community. Let's be church. Um, and let's pray with one another. Uh, what we used to do um, is that if somebody puts a prayer and you just pop a little like on there or a little heart or a care uh, a reaction just to show that you're standing with them in praying for those things. So I'm going to pray a short prayer um, and then I'm going to encourage you uh, to comment your own prayers. Uh, so, Father God, at a time uh, where we see great darkness in the world, uh, Lord God, we pray that we uh, would be like John, uh, witnesses to your light. We pray that you would help us um, to uh, reflect the light of Christ into a dark world. Uh, and God, we ask that you bring us situations uh, where we are able to speak your truth, your light and your love. Uh, that we would be able to change them, uh, to witness to the fact that God is with us in Christ. Uh, and we pray that for ourselves. We pray that your light uh, would fill our own dark spaces. Uh, Lord, as some of us look forward to Christmas and some of us do not. Uh, we pray uh, that your light and your peace uh, would be in our lives. And we ask that now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day.